All right, welcome back to another video. Um, today, I think I am going to start working on the FK8, and it's been kind of a long-term project here, and one that's turned out to be more complicated than I kind of thought, but the uh, just a little bit of a background. The car's been, you know, out of commission for the last few months. Uh, we moved into a new shop. Cars just kind of sat for a while and uh, haven't really had a whole lot of time to mess with it or, you know, work on it. Um, kind of the plan was really to take the car apart and change a bunch of stuff and pull the engine out and, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll put in some clips of uh, kind of how grid life turned out and. Basically, uh, we ended up having an oil leak in the, you know, sandwich plate and the oil cooler and stuff like that gave us some issues, which, you know, ended up starving. Uh, we think the turbo with oil, no oil, lots of boost, lots of heat, uh, breaks a lot of stuff. So it's pretty much what happened, uh, burnt up the turbo. And so, um, we kind of thought that it hurt the engine, but you know, we've had the, the oil tested and uh, everything looks good. So I don't really think there's any issues with the engine itself. You know, we didn't find any oil, nothing's broken, nothing, you know, it's not like we spun the bearing or blew anything up. Uh, the car ran after, you know, the turbo kind of let go, but didn't run great. Uh, that's to be expected, but uh, yeah, but you know, now I've got some time and I've kind of thought about it more and. Uh, I think we're just going to put a new turbo back on it and um, kind of put the setup back together, get it running again, and then kind of go from there. So I, that's what we're going to do uh, in this video. And I'll try to be as informative uh, as possible with, you know, removing the old turbo. I've already kind of started taking some of it apart. Um, but for the most part, it'll be pretty straightforward. So follow along if you want to see how to replace an FK8 turbo. And yeah, we'll do some other maintenance stuff on it as well, but for the most part, it'll be, you know, turbo uh, oil and stuff like that. And then hopefully we can get it fired back up. We've already kind of started pulling some of the stuff off. I'm going to replace this downpipe. We've got a new PRL uh, setup that uh, we got from them. That's going to be a lot better than this slip fit junk. Um, Turbo blanket, all that stuff's got to come off. Um, I've got a new battery. This battery is the original one and it's stone cold dead. So we're going to replace that as well. Spark plugs and coils and everything have already been pulled out. Um, I'm going to check the catch can. I think there's a little bit of oil in there. Nothing too serious though. Um, I will check the uh, VTEC uh, little strainer. Make sure that that's not clogged up and uh, you know kind of go from there i've got brakes and i'm going to put the brembos back on this thing uh, that way i can run the oem honda rotors put the brembos back on i've got a set of carbotech pads uh that that they're that they sent us which are going to be awesome and then here it's basically just you know maintenance items uh, i'm going to put a new o2 sensor in it new spark plugs uh, these are all the factory coils which are fine and even the plugs you know, after, let's see if I can get this to focus, after, you know, 15,000 miles, uh, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of hard, <laughs> a lot of hard miles on this thing. They, they actually all look pretty good. There's no oil, there's no fuel or anything weird. Um, and then, you know, as you replace the turbo, uh, you do have to replace 
uh, many little gaskets because uh, these are all metal um, bolts and uh, I'm going to replace this oil line as well and then of course uh, there's a gasket on the oil line uh, that has this little it looks like this little brass thing Let's see if I can get the focus on there but yeah you got to change this too so all this stuff is good and uh, we'll have to we'll have to use all that and then you know card of basically all the old stuff we cut the filter open just to check to see how the oil was and uh, yeah, the filter was doing its job because there was a bunch of junk inside of it, but the samples we pulled off and had them sent off uh, to the lab to get analyzed, that all came back uh, relatively normal. So I don't think that there's any, you know, serious issues with extreme wear or anything inside the engine. So, you know, with that in mind, I'm really just going to go ahead and start getting this thing together. We've got to drain some coolant out of this thing and unfortunately there's no easy way to do it so you got to get all up in here and hope that this doesn't drain out all over the ground. You don't have to drain all of it but definitely got to drain enough. didn't work. <sighs> oh yeah, that's coolant. All in the mouth. <sighs> All right, now that we got some of the coolant drained out, the next steps, I mean, obviously I took the downpipe off already. Um, so if you haven't taken a downpipe off, definitely we'll have to do that. Um, just pull these oil cooler lines out the way. Uh, you got to take the lower 
a charge pipe off and then you will have to take uh, this clamp off and pull this rubber hose off as well. And then while you're under here, you can go ahead and remove the bolts for this bracket. And <clears throat> uh, yeah, I think that's probably it until I think of something else, so. I've got to change the gasket for this right here. So I'll go ahead and pull this off and then make sure that you unplug the wastegate, which is over here. And then there's a teeny tiny little vacuum line on the other side. Let me see if I can get to that. So there is a small vacuum line right here that you need to remove as well. So pull this little tube off make sure that you have disconnected your wastegate and then again we're going to pull this off with the two bolts and then disconnect the top right here so there's a, a washer in here that we'll have to replace uh, we also have these two nuts which we need to replace as well all the stuff is called out in the service manual so I just follow that stuff. They're, they're honestly, they're all probably still good, but when you replace metal gaskets, or especially when they've been used um, like this car has, it's always best to uh, really just change them. So that's what we're gonna do. So now we have, you got these two bolts, this one and the lower one, and then this thing should come off. Busted turbo, good turbo. We need to uh, transfer some stuff from here to here. And so we can 
get this thing ready to go back in the car now so uh, because this is a brand new uh, turbo from Honda it does come with the wastegate actuator which I removed uh, before sending it to the guys at Pure Turbo and then also the new uh, bypass valve and all of the nice little neat screws that it comes with. This thing is done. And just uh, see if I can get a. Actually, let's see what happens if we take this thing apart. You can see just the major damage to this this whole shaft and this wheel. I mean, this thing is is uh, not happy. All right, so we're gonna replace this little gasket, and you can see uh, this is the original. This is the factory one. And uh, so these little metal gaskets, they deform once you install them and it, then, they'll, then they'll become flat and it'll seal. So it doesn't really matter which way, uh, I guess, you know what I'm saying, it goes on because it's gonna work, work the same, but I'm gonna put it back on the same way uh, that it was originally installed in there, which is that way. All right, now that this is on there, we're gonna replace this rubber tube. And now, we can put the wastegate on. So, make sure that it's, you know, positioned the right way. It's gonna point this way. So. All right, so I think this thing is ready to go. All right, so now that the turbo's done, uh, we're gonna replace the uh, gaskets. So there's an O-ring on this side, and then this uh, little copper gasket. This is pretty straightforward. So next is the exhaust gasket. I'm gonna swap this one out, make sure it's positioned the right way.
All right, so I skipped ahead some, put the downpipe on, tightened everything up under the car, and now uh, really it's just put the O2 sensor in it. Uh, all the hard lines are tight. The vacuum lines, are, you know, everything's put back on. Wastegate's plugged in. Yeah, it's just a matter of putting everything back together now. Um, I am going to put some new spark plugs in it. Uh, put the inlet tube back on, install the battery, uh, fill this thing full of oil, and yeah, should be ready to turn it on.